Okay, this is our zoo. Oh my gosh, it looks better than I remember it. I love it. Um, oh no, protesters arrived at my zoo? For what? The raccoons? Oh, because one of them escaped. Oh, little buddy. Why did you... How? How did he get out? Can they actually get out? Hold on, before I do a zoo tour. I don't know how he got out. They shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and do a zoo tour, okay? Just, uh, just ignore... The protesters, please. Um, but you walk in... And over here we have our giant tortoise enclosure, which as you can see, we have so many tortoises. So I actually um, made it so that they can't have babies anymore because we have way too many. Uh, they have so many offspring, it's crazy. And then over here is our like main food court area. And if you keep walking down this path, uh, you come to this like cross section here. And to the right, we have our first, like, super huge safari exhibit. We have rhinos and uh, nyalas. And I think we have some baby rhinos, if you can see them in the distance back there. Also, I think this is my Planet Zoo scene, yeah. Because Planet Zoo, I need to be on this corner. Yeah, it's kind of like Zoo Tycoon. <gasps> Look at the little baby! Look at the little baby rhino! Can you see that? That's so freaking cute! Um, he probably bribed a visitor to pick him up or something. Yeah, honestly, I could see that. Little baby raccoon. So that's the, uh, the savannah, savannah habitat. Um, uh, um, okay, and then let's keep going on our zoo tour. Baby rhinos, I know, right? And then over here, if you keep going along this path, we have uh, another kind of like food court area. And then over here, we have the raccoon enclosure, which is how the baby raccoon got out. I don't know, because it's totally secured. They have a cute little pond that's stuck in in my pond. Um, and then over here have some food and i like made sure that there's like plenty of spots to like walk around and view them um so you can like come all the way around to this side of the enclosure and look at how freaking cute they are they're so small wait oh, one just ran right past us but they're like little little baby sized raccoons um which i think is so freaking cute and then over here we have our otter habitat which previously we did have an issue with them dying frequently, but I think we fixed that. We have like a little creek that runs down into it. Uh, oh, one of them is swimming right there that you can see. And then there's like a little bridge that leads over to a small like viewing area. So you can kind of like see that's the cave that they sleep in. They have some food over here. And uh, we also, one thing that I'm really proud of in this zoo is we have an underwater viewing area that I will show you. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see them because at certain times of the day, the sun like looks directly into this glass. But if they were swimming down here, you would be able to like see them. And I just think that's really cool. Um, just being able to like watch them swim. So I really like this space a lot and I like tried to make it feel like super natural, like a cave vibe. Um, so I really like that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, oh, there's one right there. You can see him. Isn't that so freaking cool? Like if I went to a zoo, I think that I would probably stay down here like all day. Excuse me. You're in my way. These people just walked up in front of me like it was nothing. I'm literally right here. Do you know who I am? rude <laughs> um yeah so watching the otter swim is really fun they're so cute for me to handle i know right this turned out really nice yeah it really did uh okay so up this way we have um a walkway over here that kind of leads up the trail a little bit so i'm just gonna show you what's up here this is our uh kind of getting into more mountainy area 
Um, and by the look of this, you can probably guess what animal lives here. Um, we got giant pandas. Oh, there's, there's some of them right there. There's one right there. There's one in the back cave back there. So we have some really cool giant pandas in this habitat. Oh my God, there's a baby. Look at him go. Oh my God. So freaking cute. So we have a little baby panda and everything. Uh, I'm really hoping that they will start reproducing a little bit more because um, they're endangered. So <laughs> I'm hoping that they will. Uh, and the panda viewing goes like all the way around the habitat. So uh, you can kind of walk around it, get different angles and stuff like that. Um, isn't it so cute? I know, right? Um, and then over here, you'll notice we have another habitat. Uh, these are the llamas. Yes, llamas. Uh, so we have a little llama habitat here. And uh, we got really lucky with this one. This is like a black one compared to like the white and brown ones that we have. I don't know how we got that. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of supposed to feel like it's on a on a mountain a little bit. And uh, I created a really cool flowing creek that I want to show you. So um, if you come over here, you can kind of see like it's like a mountain stream coming down the mountain. And I just think it looks really pretty. So I'm like really happy with the way it turned out. Um, yeah, you get lots of lots of viewing angles for the llamas. And, um, oh, there's a baby right there. How cute. Probably chasing, I think that might be his mom up there taking a poop. Eh. The beauty of nature. Wow. Um, it's so pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I really like it too. Uh, and then this is one of our newer enclosures. This is the prairie dog habitat. Uh, we built this last stream and it's a walkthrough habitat, which means you can literally walk through and see the prairie dogs um if you're lucky i don't know if any are out oh there's one there's like a couple over there you can see some of their babies too um they have like holes everywhere like burrows everywhere but um i think it would be really fun to like walk through this if you were visiting the zoo so i really really like this habitat it seems like most of them are oh my god there's one right there hello oh my god these people are just walking on him bro Watch where you're walking. Did you see that? They were just walking all over him. And look at how freaking small the little babies are. Like, are you joking me? They're so tiny and so cute. Um, so yeah, it's really fun to walk through. Um, so yeah. And then this is our newest habitat, the emus. And I think we're, we were mostly still kind of working on it. Um, but the walkthrough kind of leads you around back here. And uh, we can try to get a better angle, um, which is all the way on this side, unfortunately. I don't want people like stopping and watching them from over here. So here we go. Uh, these are the emus and they have like a little foraging pit right here. It looks like some of them are taking a swim right now. And uh, yeah, they have like a lot of room to run around. Sometimes they like to come up onto these rocks and stuff like that. So got to be careful with them trying to escape but i really like how the emu habitat turned out i think it looks really fun um and i think emus are cool so beware australians beware the great emus are here yeah we did we built this from scratch we've been working on this for a while <gasps> there's a baby do you see it a little baby emu just hanging out by the waterfall what a little cutie um I'd pick up a baby and put it in my pocket for sure. I know, right? Um, so yeah, they're they're kind of just walking. What is this guy doing? Can we just like take a second and be like, what are you doing, buddy? Why are you up here? This is not really a part of your habitat that I meant for you to walk around, but you can if you want to. It's just there's nothing up here for you. So I don't know why he's up here. Um, but yeah, I can kind of show you all the little overview again of the zoo. So um, again, it's tortoise, otter, raccoon, rhino, nyala, uh, giant pandas, llamas, prairie dogs, and uh, emus. I actually really like how this like quadrant turned out, this like whole thing with the rhinos, nyalas, prairie dogs, and 
emus. I just feel like it looks very um, flowy. Like it looks, it looks like very intentional, like all together kind of vibes. So we're kind of like thinking we'll expand this way with habitats that are similar to this, like kind of safari vibes. Um, this way will be more like mountains. Um, this way will be more like forest tropical vibes. Is kind of what we're thinking of. Um, I just want like similar habitats to be next to similar habitats, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got. And I specifically laid the zoo out in a way to where like these stone paths are like highways. And then to view animals, you would go onto these like smaller paths. So that way uh, there's more of a flow and there's not as bad of traffic. Um, so that is the goal of this zoo is to not have so much traffic. I will say, I think we need to potentially work on our guest needs a little bit. We need food and drink, and I believe we'll probably need a food and drink spot over here pretty soon. And I also have been slacking on education. Um, so I think we need to be a little bit more careful about our education and make sure we're continuing that. So I don't know if I feel like doing that today, though. So I might just work on... Filling in a couple gaps here with some bushes. Um, but yeah, it's this game is really fun. It's like a, a game that you can kind of fully immerse yourself in and um, kind of just get lost, which is what I'm hoping to do today. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. So um, yeah, but thanks everyone. <laughs> thanks for coming on my zoo tour. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Should we, should we start thinking of a new animal to, to put in here today? I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe I'll do another flower box like right here. I've kind of been trying to make these flowers kind of a theme throughout the zoo. Oops, sorry. I popped your balloon. Just to have them. I think it's nice. Um, I haven't been here for a while, but I'm back now. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tiki. Oh, people think my zoo tickets are underpriced. Okay, let's raise the price to $25 and $23, I guess. Fine with me. Um, yeah, this is for PC. I think it's only on PC. Uh, Steam is where you can get it. I seek inspiration because my zoo ratings are great, but I think they look weird. Okay, so you have the important stuff down then, Mim Bim, because you you have good quality zoos, but you might think that they don't look as exciting. Um, so that's like easy. That's an easy fix. Um, and I can definitely offer assistance if you if that's what you're looking for. Um, I prefer to build my zoos in a more organic way. Oh no, our alpha is about to die. Oh. Buddy. Oh, he's dying of old age. We need a new alpha. Oh my god, wait, that's so sad. No, I'm actually upset. I'm actually upset right now. Okay. Well, at least it was old age. He lived he lived for 41 or 44 years. That is a really long time for a rhinoceros to live. If you think about it, chat. Um, oh, two babies here. We have some gold star rhinos. Um, I'm going to look and see in our storage and see if we have any alpha rhinos that I could put in here right now. Um, let's see what we have. I do have a couple... I have Juma. I have Amiel, Kosi, and Namlanga. Except Namlanga is already in a different zoo. These two, Amiel and Namlanga, are already in different zoos. They probably shouldn't. I could put in either Kosi or Juma, or I could wait for that one rhinoceros that is currently in our zoo to age up. Because he was a gold rhino. 
Or I could take Musa from Seasonal Breeze Zoo, who is also Gold Star, and bring him in so there won't be any inbreeding. Maybe that's a good idea. Because, like, when you have a franchise, you can take animals from other zoos you own and, like, move them around. Which I think is really fun. No, inbreeding is good. Okay. <laughs> Do animals age in your storage? No, they're immortal if they're in your storage. Like, these are the albino... Or, sorry, you can't really see them. Uh, because my camera one second these are the uh albino rhino or lions i've been saving i have a male albino rhino or the albino lion and a female albino lion that i'm saving for this zoo i think um so i think i'm gonna move this one here we'll move him in he's from a different zoo he'll bring in new new blood Oh, got you. Got you, Glow. I thought you meant inbreeding was good, and I was like, okay. Sure thing, bestie. This, okay, what is happening in here? There comes the poop scooper. I was about to be like, this guy, like, we need to make sure we're scooping the poop in here. Um, but yeah, Chris, Christovo is also a gold rhino, so that's good. We're trying to get better genetics. Um, his longevity is still only 50%, though. Which is not good. Are albino lions more desirable? I don't actually know if like albino makes them more desirable. I just think they're cool. Um, but lions in general are very desirable for visitors. Like visitors love, 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 love um, that stuff. Okay, we're inbreeding. Great. Holy cannoli! Goo with the goblin redemption chat. You know what that means. Can we get a one of us started? One of my mods will be with you as soon as they can. So make sure you have your Discord DMs open. Let's go! How exciting! Is this the rhino I brought in? No, where where is the rhino I'm bringing in? Hello? Where is, uh, oh, is he already in here? Oh yeah, there he is, Musa. This is our, our new stud. Look at how big he is. Oh my God. He's only 58th percentile for size. Look at how big he is compared to, to everyone else though. Holy cow. Wow. I like Musa. He's, he's pretty cool. Big boy. <laughs> Yeah, so he's now going to take over the herd and make sure that they continue to prosper. Um, thank you for the lurks. Thank you. You're quartered a goblin. Let's go. Okay, I also wanted to check on my staff. I think I would like to train all of my staff to be level um, three today. I think we can afford that. So here we go. I'm going to... Train everyone to be level three. Because we have over a million simoleons in our zoo. So, like, we can certainly afford this. Is it a mistake to do them all at once? I don't actually know if that, like, affects anything. Do I only have one security guard for my whole zoo? Hold on a second. That's not good. How is that possible? I think I need to assign a couple more security guards for other areas because apparently I only have one for my whole zoo. Um, yeah, simoleons. Hey, Riv, how are you? Um, yeah, I think IRL albino animals are like ethnically, you're not supposed to do that. But since it's just a game, um, I'm fine with it. I think they look cool. It's a genetic mutation. You're making me want to play this game. You should do it. You should play alongside me. Oh my God. This would be so cool if you were this kid right here and you just saw this little guy up here. You'd be like, this was the best time at the zoo ever. The animals came up so close. That is so cool. I would be freaking out if I was here right now. Oh my God. What is happening? Whoa. Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> you just stood vertically like that. Um... Training doesn't affect things. Research does. 
Yes, like as in it won't take them away from their jobs. I was going to say it does affect them. They get more effective, but I think I know what you mean. Um, I also want to see if we can maybe start supplying better food for all of the animals. Um, I need to research. I can give them grade two quality food now, but I need to research... Uh, emus, nyalas, black-tailed prairie dogs, and raccoons to be able to give them more quality food. So, oh, apparently my mechanic research, I'm going to keep doing that as well. Let's have you research the aquatic theme. Vet research. Um, last time I went to the zoo, the bulls came up and let us feed them grass and the goats wanted pets. That is so cool. Imagine the simmers start calling their real life money simoleons. I mean, I do. I'd be screaming, throwing, crying and throwing up. Yeah. Oh my God. Riv, it wasn't allowing your message because you said inbred. <laughs> Vicky, thank you for the 10 month resub. Sending you so much love. Thank you. Um... Since albino is usually a recessive trait, the animals that have it have a higher chance of passing it down to other recessive linked traits that are bad for the inv individual. Usually genetic diseases are recessive. Gotcha. IRL albino animals tend to be less healthy. They're often they're inbred because of how rare albinism is in the world. While white tigers aren't technically albino, they're all inbred and it really sucks because their health is awful. Yes. Um, however, since this is Planet Zoo, it's fine. I'm not necessarily saying I support <laughs> uh, albino breeding programs IRL, just to make that clarification in case anyone thought I was. Uh, okay. Let's, I need to do emus, nyalas, and raccoons. So I might as well just do them all at once. And then I could finish the tortoise too. We have one thing of llama left as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, however, this is a simulation and therefore it is okay. Exactly. Okay, nature. I need to see because I think I unlocked some more llama stuff. So I kind of wanted to see um, if I have more items that I could give to them. Uh, it doesn't look like it was anything that I didn't already have. But I could do like a a grazing feeder ball or something over here for some little food stimulation or enrichment I guess is the word don't bother me I'm having enrichment time in my enclosure that's the vibes for today yeah they're also more expensive to buy in this game mm -hmm. hello are you alive oh my god bestie I thought you were dead the way you be laying there with your neck out like please but look at this llama. Isn't he so cool? Sorry, I can't click on him for some reason. There we go. Look, how did I get the one that's this color? I'm so excited about it. Because all my other llamas are white with brown spots. So I, I'm very happy about him. Yeah, he's a, he's a void llama. I hope we can pass on his genetics somehow. It'd be cool. But I don't know if he has done any breeding. Should I check? He has siblings and parents. Maybe I should put him in my storage for now and bring him back when we could have a mate for him. What do you think? Two white with brown spots can result in a full brown one. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, My raid sent me here instead of with the raid. It must be fate. Wait, are you saying that you were sent on a raid, but it didn't take you to the right stream? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in my storage for now. Well, welcome in. I'm so sorry that you didn't get taken where you were supposed to go. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's weird. That's a first for me. I don't know if I've ever uh, heard of that. Uh oh, <gasps> all the raccoons are maturing. Uh oh, it's happening. I'm gonna have to sell a lot of them. 
Hi, Emily. How's rock placing game going? It's going good. We're kind of just doing a little bit of maintenance right now in the zoo. Um, which involves probably releasing about 20,000 raccoons to the wild. And then I was thinking maybe we could try to make a new habitat today. Okay, how are we doing? Holy cow, we have so many prairie dogs. I guess I should have seen that coming. We also have... Oh, we still have Tiddles. I forgot we named a tortoise Tiddles after the time that Simsy raided us a while ago. He's really old. He's 73 years old. Long live Tiddles. Tiddles has been the father of so many tortoises here. <laughs> I forgot about Tiddles. Um, baby is so cute. I had the streamer I was supposed to be going to up on my phone anyways, but I actually own this game too. I haven't played it yet. Oh, you should play it. It's so fun. I love this game. This game is one of my faves. Okay, let's go. I need to sell all the raccoons. Basically, if you're an elder, I'm going to sell you. So this one needs to go. Sorry, that's kind of mean, but it's just business. Imagine going to the zoo for a day and aging 20 years. I know, right? Hey, if I'm going to live my life and it's in a zoo, I'm down. Adult infertile. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay, you're super old. You can go. I don't think I want to make any of them fertile right now, though, is the problem. Because if I make any of them fertile... We're going to have an explosion of raccoons. So maybe I just choose one. One animal to breed right now. One raccoon of each gender. Just so we only have a couple babies. It sounds mean, but like you're I'm not joking. If I let all of them breed, it's like way too much. Okay. You are allowed to have a baby with him. Okay, that's it. That's all. <laughs> um, this is my second favorite game after Sims, but I'm still so bad at building. I can't like build structures in this game. I only can build habitats. Um, but I feel like when it comes to structures, I get way too overwhelmed. I'm just like, no, I can't. So I feel you. I do. Um, it's honestly for the best. One couple with offspring will be manageable, hopefully. Yeah, as long as I don't let them continue breeding. Uh, speaking of which, though, I am going to start getting rid of a lot of raccoons. So here we go. Anyone who doesn't have a medal... I'm going to be releasing you to the wild, which is honestly really nice of me. There we go. 11 raccoons. And that should hopefully be enough to where I don't need to do any other maintenance right now. Um, although I could get rid of the bronze ones too. Yeah, let's just do that really quick. Okay, cool. Go forth. So now we don't have uh, enough raccoons to where they'll fight. Now they won't fight anymore. So that is a positive for us. Uh, me with my pea fells all the time. Oh my god, yeah. I used to have so many pea fells. High amounts of litter. Okay, where's the litter? A lot of it is over here. Pretty much most of it is here. So who is supposed to be taking care of this zone? It's raccoon and tortoise area. Do I just not have any trash cans along this path? Is that, is that why? I guess I can uh, put a couple of those down. Like 
if people are just going to be littering. Imagine going to a zoo and just like littering when you're literally in a location that's supposed to be about like conservation and stuff. And you're like, yeah, I'm just going to throw this on the ground. I'm not going to walk around the corner and find a trash can. Like what? All right, where is Terrell? Oh, Terrell is over here cleaning. Terrell, you missed a lot though, buddy. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to need to move you and you're going to need to get, get sweeping. Starting here. Thank you, buddy. Making me want to go play Planet Zoo. Yes. Okay, I will admit this corner of the raccoon enclosure gets way too much traffic. And I think that this is just the best view of the raccoons. So a lot of people like to stand there. Um, that would make me claustrophobic. We also have so many people looking at our rhinos right here. That's so fun. There's our big alpha male. Um, humans are the worst. Yeah, I think Disney did a study before opening their park and found people walk 25 to 30 steps before littering. What the actual heck? Like, I get not wanting to carry trash around in your hand, but like at least put it in your pocket or something or in a bag. And like, wait until you find a trash can to throw it in. Like, come on. I hate humans. Yeah, yeah, that's why I have my stone paths super wide, Saki. And then these ones are skinnier because I figured people wouldn't, you know, stand there as much. But like, yeah, they really do be standing. And the reason why it's congested is because it's right at the beginning here, which is my bad. I did not foresee that. Okay, that being said, I'm kind of looking at what we have set up here, and I'm almost wondering if we want to put another enclosure um, over in our kind of wetlands tropical area over here. Um, Because I feel like if we want to expand out this way anymore, we need to make another food stand, which I don't want to do. So what do you all think? I mean, I guess we could sp expand here because this is really close to another food area. So I'll give you all the option of either like wetlands slash tropical or another kind of deserty savanna biome. Um, thank you for the follow, by the way. Scritch is for Olivia. Welcome in. One day I'll be brave and try this game again. Oh, I hate that free star house. What about capybaras? You know, I did capybaras recently, so I don't really want to place them again so soon. I kind of want to spread them out. See, that raccoon is already pregnant. You can't see because it's behind the notification thing, but she's already pregnant. Wetlands tropical. Desert needs filling in. I could make a, a poll really quick. Let me make a poll for you all. Okay, so you can vote for a tropical animal or a desert animal. So feel free to vote. Okay, 90% uh, of chat is voting tropical at the moment. We can do that. I definitely need to lay on the trees a little bit thicker over here. I'm going to get rid of these, um, red trees, I think. This is right by our entrance here. So I kind of want to like have the vibe extend a little bit further. Okay, uh, yeah, so the poll is ending with tropical, so that's what we'll do. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of filling this area in really quick, chat, before we um, choose our next animal. I voted tropical because I have snow outside. No, that's, that's very fair. It is also snowing outside for me right now, too. Okay, let's do a couple of these. Just 
nice cozy vibes. Oh, you want to know? Okay, I was just making sure that this game was actually linked up. Um, it's snowy here. I want snow. Oh, it's not snowy there and you want snow. Well, you can take my snow if you'd like. It's all yours. I don't want it. Um, feel free to feel free to take it off my hands. <laughs> yeah, let's get a little more tropical vibes going up in this place. There we go. Let's fill that in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Just so that uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want it to feel like only inside the habitats are super filled in and everywhere else is like empty because that's not how it would be in a real zoo. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just trying to like make sure we're consistent in the foliage. So that is what I'm doing. You're in Florida, so no snow there. <gasps> really, Riv? You're doing custom enclosures? That's my legacy. You're welcome. I honestly, that's all I can say, except you're welcome. Because um, you're going to have so much more fun now, I think. At least I hope so. You'll send me screenshots later? Yes, please do. Okay, I can't do any coverage here, which freaking sucks. Which means I'm going to need some rocks. Rocks! Yeah, we have a Planet Zoo channel as well, so if anyone ever wants to post, like, something they're working on in their zoo, feel free to do that. Because I live for that kind of stuff. Rocks! Yes, that's why I know most of my community is here for rocks. Like, they don't have to pretend with me. I know what you all want. And I'm here to give it to you. I will not hold out on you any longer. Put them in the Discord? Yes. Very good. Okay. I'm just kind of trying to carry on these, like, tropical vibes. Kind of further along because if we're going to put our next exhibit over here I want it to feel like an extension of this exhibit if you know what I mean it smells like baby food in my office right now and I kind of hate it I don't know what it could be but um not a fan not to fan at all, actually. Um, how do you decorate an enclosure for an African wild dog? Ooh, I'd probably make it like super rugged and rocky looking. Maybe give them some kind of cave to sleep in. That sounds kind of fun, right? <laughs> yeah, honestly, this game is pretty intensive. So if you don't have a, a computer that can handle a lot of graphics like that, Jinxies, I would definitely put your graphics down to as low as possible as soon as you can. Because this game, like, she will take all of your computer's resources and she will eviscerate you um earn a yearly ticket profit of twenty four thousand five hundred simoleons let's go where am i making most of my money then if not tickets there's over two thousand people in my zoo by the way 
I'm so popular. That sounds awful. Yeah, baby food. Um, I'm wanting to play my Plan Zoo Challenge all day. I'm pretty ecstatic to log on and see you playing as well. Let's go! We're all gaming together. How fun. Ten months ago. Hey! Well today. No Thanks, sweat. Missy. I am well. Thank you so much for the 10-month resub. Let me get some love and hype in the chat. I'm doing great. We are just gaming over here. Just a couple of gamers gaming. You know how it is. You know how it is. I don't really want that one. Oh my gosh. Riv, thank you so much for the 26 month resub. How are you doing today? I'm making what merch? Wait, what? Huh? What did I miss, Tina? What did I miss? Who's merch? What? When? Where? Um, how did you do the path above the water? Uh, I just connected it from one side to the other side and it turned into a bridge. I need to get it. Yeah, this game is literally incredible. And out to 10 recommend. Okay. I'm having a good time. That looks nice. I like that. Probably put another one in here too. I like that. Oh, maybe my zoo's making a money via merch sales. I gotcha. Yeah, it's probably uh, all of the inside of the zoo stuff. Making the money. Probably onto something there. Okay, I'm going to flatten this terrain a little bit. I don't imagine I'll have to go much further than this. Hopefully not. Do you plan to play Traveler's Rest again? You know, I'm not sure. Never, we didn't fully finish what there is to offer, but I'll have to see if I want to play it again. I was having really fun playing it. Vibes are good, very good. Bye, Gobby. Oh, Gemini, I love that for you. Hi, Megan. Yes, it is. It is zoo day. There's going to be an update this month that's going to unlock more of the map. Ooh, maybe I'll have to check that out whenever it comes out. Okay, we have to decide which animal we want to um, kind of bring in over here, I would say. Um, shall we take a look? I'm going to turn off Olivia's camera for now. We're going for something that's tropical or aquatic, I would say. So here we go. I'm almost thinking an alligator would be fun to do. I don't know about y'all, but I love me an alligator. It feels like it would fit in in this area pretty well. We could do a caiman. Simsies in this game? <laughs> alligator? You would visit the zoo if I do an alligator? I'm just looking. There's giant otters? Oh my god. There's so many animals. There's hippos too. Ooh, hippos could be fun. Maned wolf. I just feel like next to the otters, an alligator would really make sense. Don't you have tigers in your inventory? I do. 
Oh, a crane could be fun. I think the alligator would be our first carnivore. Do I have any mommies? <laughs> Monkeys? No, I do not. I kind of want to do... Maybe we start with an alligator and then... I don't know, something about the crane sounds fun to me. But that could probably be a smaller habitat. And then hippos could be fun over here too. Let's just start with an alligator though. Okay. Start with an alligator and then we can see where we decide to go next. Um, oh, thank you, Birch Buddy. Yeah, there's a lot of stickers I still need to add to my store. So apologies on that end. Okay, I think I'm going to do a sunken habitat. We could do a snake for danger. I think the snakes are only in, um, what are they called? Uh, exhibits. I don't think the snakes you can actually put in a habitat like this. Um, yeah, hippos would be cool for underwater viewing. We could also do underwater viewing for alligators. I don't know, though, because, like, they don't really go underwater too much. They're mostly just floating at the top of water. So maybe we do underwater viewing for hippos. Um, hi, thank you, Min. I appreciate the follow up, Min. Uh, oh, purchase for Olivia. There we go. There she is. What are you playing? I'm playing Planet Zoo. Welcome. We're currently about to make a, an alligator habitat. So you're joining us at a really good time. What about really big snakes? No, I think those still would go in an, in an enclosure. Whatever they're called. That's just how the game works. This is definitely big enough. Um, and I'm thinking we would have a path along here that they could walk into. Um, Shella, is this the zoo that you built the underground viewing area with the fry vendor to get people to go to the underground area? Yes. Shamelessly, I did in fact put... Um, french fry machine down here to get people to come down here i did do that you can get french fries while you watch the otters how fun is that how exciting i missed that part oh well now you know um i feel like if i do this i should make a new staff area kind of maybe back here um also this mountain area is making me anxious we're gonna carve it away a little bit i don't want to deal with it yet i mean listen chat if you heard that the otter underwater viewing area had french fries wouldn't you go there's no shame in that. I would be like, um, yeah, I think I will. Um, <laughs> hidden gems of the zoo. Win-win. <laughs> I would run and not walk. <laughs> the fries make it better. <laughs> I would go just for the otters, but the fries would be a wonderful bonus. Yeah, exactly. See? I think we're all in the same mindset there. All right, let's get this to kind of be our zookeeper entry point. And for that, it needs to be flat enough for them to walk down. So that should work. Um, and then we have to decide where we're going to be doing the water for the alligators. I think I like the idea of them being able to come up here and kind of rest in view of the people. Like super close to the exhibit edge. Thanks for the company vibes. Much love. <gasps> 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you for the seven months. Seven months already? What? Yeah, I think I like the idea of maybe this being a corner that they can come up and like relax a little bit. Put some rocks up so that they can't like, you know, escape. Simsy died in Minecraft? Uh-oh. How did she die, chat? My poll was correct. An Enderman? Oh, did she die in the end? How poetic. <laughs> this is so nice. I wish I could play this game. Oh, I know. It's, it's good. Sorry to make you jealous. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Purchase for Olivia. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking I can fill most of this like with water, like up to here, probably. Right? Yeah, I can make the noises louder 100%. Um, how's that? With my whole new sound system and everything, I have to go through and like adjust sound a lot for games I've played. Hopefully that's better. What? It just kicked me offline for some reason. Yeah, she did a good job. I would love to play this game. I would never get off. Yeah, I have a really hard time with leaving this game, too. I'm the same way. Okay. I'm not digging the lighting we have right now, so... Kind of just waiting for it to get a little bit better. Um, what game is this? This is called Planet Zoo. And we're currently working on an alligator habitat, which is kind of funny. Um, because we were just talking about Lil Simsy, and Lil Simsy lives in Florida. So maybe she would be the great person to give us advice on what we should make this look like. <laughs> she probably knows best, right? I'm basically making Florida in my zoo. Next question. Um, thanks for the lurk, Riv. Ooh, one of our emos mating. Ooh, yay. We might get emo babies. Did I say emo babies? I meant emu babies. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, I might want to make the water a little bit deeper, though. <laughs> they could be emo. <laughs> Maybe they are emo. I don't know their lives. We name it Momo. You want to name the baby emu Momo? I'll think about it. Yeah, this way the, the water is a little bit deeper over here. And they have a little bit more of a swimming area. We'll make it deeper on this side too. Is the sound better, by the way? I I made it louder, so hopefully it is. Hey, Brianna, how are you? It is? Okay. No worries, Tina. I just wanted to make sure it actually fixed it. <laughs> Much better. Okay, sick. Sick, sick, sick. Toint, toint, sick. Toint. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I like that. So if we fill the water up to like that, I don't think they'd be able to get out. And we could have like viewing here and then also viewing like over here. Bye, sugar cookie. 
let me just uh continue our path really quick here we go oh no new med side effects sorry that's never fun hey nurse weeb how are you have you never seen this game before it's called planet zoo um and yeah, it does remind me a lot of a simulation game. If you've ever played like Zoo Tycoon growing up, this game is very similar to Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon was my favorite game growing up, 100%. I played the absolute heck out of that game. In passing, never seen gameplay. Gotcha. Well, right now we're building an alligator habitat. Which is really exciting for me. Because I think this is our first carnivore in the zoo. Um, because we have like raccoons, but raccoons are omnivores. So I don't think they count. You know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. I think I need to like flatten this out just a little bit more. If I can get uh oh. What is that? I click the wrong thing. That's what that is. <laughs> what is that? There we go. Um. There we go. Okay. Raccoonivores, they'll literally eat anything. <laughs> True. They literally will eat anything, won't they? There we go. So we have like a little a little viewing path that you could walk on down this way. Um and then a viewing path along this edge too. This one's scary. This one kind of tilts into the water a little bit i might try to flatten that out just a little bit because like if i were going to that zoo and it was like tilted in towards the crocodiles i'd be like mm, i don't know about that not very safe feeling so i'm just gonna give it a little bit of a a lip right there um a bridge over the water would be really cool I don't know if I want to do a bridge over this habitat. I'll have to think about it. Hmm. Because I, I feel like maybe it would kind of... I don't know. Are you saying you think I should do a bridge kind of like this and like loop it back up around here? Alligators can jump out of the water. <laughs> let me let me try it. Let's see what it looks like, and then we can decide if we vibe with it. It's like if I did it, I would probably do something like this. Like that? That gets you pretty like on the same level as them because they would be like right there. It's cute. I would get eaten by an alligator there. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a boardwalk kind of vibes. 
Except you won't be bored on this walk. You'll be scared for your life. Which is so fun. No, I can't make a walkthrough enclosure for alligators for, um, you know, various reasons, but, um, I'm trying to decide how to connect it up here. Maybe this wouldn't be here. Maybe it would just be like a smaller loop like this. That's better, right? Oh, yeah. I think I will put a railing on the path. Um, I just didn't do that initially. That's my bad. What? Do you think we need a railing? I don't know. I think it could be kind of fun and kind of scary to just let people and their toddlers go out there. Survival of the fittest, am I right? Just go to Florida. That's a walkthrough gator exhibit. <laughs> All right, railing on elevated. You can zip line over the gators. Oh my god. That sounds scary. There we go. How do we feel about that? Do you feel better now? Having the railing on it too? Lazy Gator River. <laughs> That's kind of exciting, right? I don't like how sharp of a turn that is. There we go. I like it. 10 out of 10. When can I move in? Oh, yeah. We have our own Gritty Gator in the chat. Would you live here, Gritty Gator? You would know. Uh, thanks for the follow. Score just for Olivia. Welcome in. Oh, that's fun. I wanted to go to the San Diego Zoo when I was down there, but... Um, I was too tired. <laughs> what are you working on? We're making an alligator habitat. Um, and this is what we have so far. So they would be able to like get up over here and relax. But then they also have some water to stay in. Do I want to make the water a little bit higher? I don't know. I could bring the water up to there. Maybe that's a little better. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Scratches for Olivia. Hi, Goo. How are you? Oh, you know I would. <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Yeah, we're playing Planet Zoo today. Um, okay, I think it's time for me to set the barrier and then we can figure out what would work in this habitat. So let's do that. Um, don't worry, everyone. Let me pause really quick. We'll just throw them in there and decorate and then we'll unpause. Another goo? Yeah, it looks like it. How am I doing? I'm doing great. I'm having the best day right now. Planet Zoo days are always very good days for me. I love this game. Seems cozy. It is, right? We're working on an alligator habitat to go in a kind of our tropical wetland area vibes that we have going on over here. We already have this otter one next door. So we're kind of like going to extend it over to here. How many animal types do you have now? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine different species in our zoo right now oh yeah did the emu have the baby <gasps> oh i think that one was already there i don't know i like the emus the otter habitat looks so cute thank you it's cozy until you build path yeah paths suck the otters have an underwater viewing area check this out you can come down here and look at them while they're swimming. Making their way. I forgot. I got to feed an emu once. 10 out of 10. Best day. <laughs> I love that for you. 
Okay, um, I'm, I think I'm going to make a new staff area back here to go along with this, so it's going to take me a little bit longer, but it will be fine. Yeah, it has fries down there, too. We made sure to provide french fries. Um, okay, let's just make it in this, like, kind of back corner. I will need a, I'm going to do a large staff room just in case. Pally! I'm at work, but I love rock placing simulator ish crap. Thank you, Pally. Yes, rock placing simulator is a good game. Um, I hope you're doing well, Pally. It's good to see you. Uh, let's do a large keeper hut because I intend to hook up a bunch of exhibits to this and then was that a trade center no that's a resource let's do this trade center okay and i probably need a veterinarian where's the new world vet oh there it is oh my god it's huge I'm still a new at Planet Zoo, but I'm trying to learn now. Well, I wouldn't say I'm the best person to watch to learn about this game, but I can try to answer any questions if you have any. I know the gist of it. So. There we go. Nice. Got you totally hooked on Critical Role. One of us. One of us. <laughs> I'm so excited. If you're a critter, you're definitely my friend. Um. Hey, thank you for the follows. Critter Sport Olivia, welcome in. God, it still smells like baby food in here. I'm really upset about it. I don't like the smell. Okay, let me grab some of those crocodiles, the alligators. Someone's selling an albino emu for 1500 tokens. I might get that one. Or, sorry, it's low stick. I don't know what that means. Try hard zoo. Up your mind now. Fun! I guess it's not albino. Make him away! Hi, Waffle. Brain is dead after work today? Yeah. Well, welcome in. You do not need to use your brain here. All right, American alligator. I need listing expired. Oh, you know what? It's going to keep saying because I'm like offline. It's like not going to let me. Hold on. I think I need to go to the main menu. Maybe it like said I was offline when I wasn't. Yes, I do. I play I play franchise mode. Honestly, watching the VOD still feels really good. Even if it's not live. Okay, back to Goblin Grove Zoo. Hi, Bunny. Yes, playing a zoo today. Thanks for redeeming scritches for Olivia. Getting all the scritches today. Interesting. Uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Scratches for Olivia. Thank you. 
yeah i like playing online it gives you a lot more like options for animals okay let's try to find one now there we go um i'm just gonna buy this one is there not a male Oh, there we go. This crocodile's name is Tristan. All right, come on, Tristan. And I'm assuming I can't uh, have more than one of each, right? Up to one male and five females. Okay, I can get another girl. How are you, little ginger? It's good to see you. Oh my gosh, Olivia's being so cute right now. She's giving herself a little bath. Are you dirty? Oh, little baby. You're being so cute. Um, I'll get this one. <laughs> he probably plays soccer. Uh, all Tristans play soccer. Okay, let me get these guys. Mechanic. Vet. Oh yeah, I was going to hire more security. I'm going to do that right now. I might as well. Let's make a new work zone. Call this alligators. Alligator. Perfect. Alright, I'm assigning you all to alligator now. Olivia, don't lick your butthole on my stream. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> my little paw. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Bebby. Tristan only wears Adidas. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's send in Tristan. We have Tristan, Verity, and Zavrina. Those are the names of our alligators. You were lurking until I yelled about Olivia. Oh my gosh. Okay. Everybody stay calm. This is Tristan. Hi, Tristan. Look at how good these textures are. Do you see this? That's cool. Uh, Tristan is really small. It's only 25% of the size he should be. Gray, black, scaled skin with yellow markings. You can see the pupil. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Wow, Shella, don't size shame him. Well, he's our short king. <laughs> been a while thank you astrobard for the 11 months thank you you want to move olivia over to here even though it will cover this menu i can do that or i could move her maybe to here let's see if that works better um tristan's not gonna lick his butthole right no <laughs> that is not <laughs> tristan's not olivia Okay, let's figure out what Tristan wants in his enclosure. Um, here we go. I, I like to think of Tristan as our short king. I think that's very fun. I guess I'll start with the rocks. Well, no. I'll start with the terrain. Oh, actually, the terrain is perfect. I don't have to change anything. Um, I might just make it more damp, soily. Oh, is it already damp soily? Okay. Then. Might make it a little rocky. Along these cliffs over here. Probably going to cover those with rocks anyways, but. Rocks. Hey, welcome back. We're working on an alligator habitat. 
doesn't look like much right now, but we're about to start making it look really good. All right, temperate rocks. I think I'm going to hardscape the entire wall. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Everyone buckle up. This is what you subscribe for. Me placing rocks. <laughs> Using my degree. Getting in the gravel groove. I like that. This is like really um, therapeutic though. Who needs therapy when you can just place rocks? Riddle me that chat. Don't say that I won't have a job anymore. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry to all therapists in my chat, but um have you considered having Planet Zoo as a treatment plan for anyone? Just saying. Welcome back. Song of the Evertree. Ooh, what what's that game about? Oh no, I'm sorry you had a bad day, YouTube. I got you. It's so soothing. Yay, I'm glad. It's going to look really nice when we get plants in here. You know, I'm excited for the remake of Harvest Moon, but I'm going to be honest with you. I have not been vibing with like SOS Poot or any of the remakes so far. So I'm like a little bit um, nervous about it. So I feel like it's just going to be the same as those and it's not going to vibe with me. Like I'm happy if it makes you guys happy, but it's just not for me. I'm I'm hoping it's it's good. Hey River. Um, I haven't loved the remakes, but Wonderful Life was the one I played the most when I was a kid. Yeah. So you'll have high expectations for it, won't you? Probably. Probably. Um, hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Scritches for Olivia. Hello. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Da -da -da. We're building an alligator habitat. So, I'm working on the hardscaping right now. Um... Does anyone in here like aquascape fish tanks and stuff? Because that stuff is fun. Uh, also, thank you for the follow. Scritch is for Olivia. Welcome in. I am having a good day. You do? 
Ugh, I feel like this is like aquascaping, but in game form. What kind of fish is gonna go in there? Is this kind of like Zoo Tycoon? Yes. It's like Zoo Tycoon, but current, updated, everything you could ever want. I was obsessed with Zoo Tycoon growing up, so this is like my favorite game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Feel free to post pictures. I like watching aquascapers on YouTube. I watch them all the time. So I wish I could do something like that, but I know that I would like hyper fixate on it for however long. And then I would probably end up like not wanting to do it anymore. But you can't just decide not to keep doing it when you have like living creatures. So I'm like, oh, man. Doesn't work on the newer windows? No, sad. I don't know where I got a copy of Zoo Tycoon 2. I found it on like a website for like a dollar and I bought it. Oh, it's our building song. Building song, building song. Uh, also, thanks for redeeming scratches for Olivia. I totally get you, yeah. <laughs> Roller coaster tycoon was like a full time job for me. <laughs> That's how I felt about uh, Zoo Tycoon. Played that game all the time. A jar next. That's probably more manageable, huh? So, I need to finish this central area. I don't know why I didn't. Building. Song. Building. Song. Building. Song. I feel old now. <laughs> or nor. Not the evervescent reminder that we're all going to fade away into nothingness one day. Okay, there we go. Da -da -da. Yeah, that's the other thing. It can get expensive really fast. Probably should not get into that right now. Fourteen months. <gasps> hey! Rish clap, rish clap. Rish clap. Thank you so much, uh, Lemonade Lizzie, for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. As always. Mm. There we go. How's that looking so far? I think that's fun. Um, Planet Zoo, what's up? Also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Purchase for Olivia. Got a side done over there. Got some of this stuff done too. I'm going to try to finish up this area.
All right, leaving space for some plants. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to have this kind of wrap around like this. Wrap around. Hold on. I have like cat fur all over me again. Ah! Now I can't unsee the aquascaping. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. What animal is this for? Uh, an alligator. An American alligator. We're basically recreating Florida as we speak. Um, cat fur everywhere. Okay, fun. My cat has been shedding like crazy recently, so like a constant battle. Big dinosaur fishy. I'm gonna do a wraparound. <laughs> that song is like in my head right now. I can't, or sorry, not song, but sound. Like I can't, I can't escape it. Okay. There we go. For my alligators, I made the shape of Florida. That's awesome. I bet they loved it. They're probably like, this is where we live. I don't like that one there. I don't think I know that one. I don't think I do. All right, let's just start placing some big rocks. And we'll go in and fill in the gaps. This is going to be most of the stream today, by the way. Um, is me placing rocks. So uh, sorry about that. That's just what we're doing. I chose a very aquatic habitat to bake today. Um, I downloaded Plant Zoo a couple months ago and it totally broke my computer. Oh my God. It broke your computer? I believe it. This game is really heavy. Rock placing streams are best streams. Okay. As long as we're all in the same boat. Hey, Teal, what's up? What is up? Okay. This game eats my computer quality for fun. Serotonin in these rocks. Well, your Twitch description does say you love placing rocks in sim games over and over and over. It's true. I'm surprised anyone reads that. A lot of people don't read my Twitch description, but it's all right there. To be fair, I had the Sims and multiple expansion packs also on said computer. Oh, are you just saying that you, like, ran out of computer space? Because, yeah, I, I have, like, I think it's a four terabyte hard drive right now. <laughs> In order to keep all of my stuff. 
Don't be me. No, it died completely. Oh. Well, that's just utterly tragic. I'm sorry that happened to you. Oh, thank you, Star Knight. <laughs> I read it for fun. Some streamers say funny things in there. Is mine funny? I don't know if it is or not. I tried not to take myself so seriously when I was writing it. Because that's kind of how I am. Not that serious. It's not that deep. I worked so hard and got so far, but my 350 Ti didn't even matter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it runs really well on my new computer, thankfully. Yes, good plan, Scarlet, good plan. Remember, I play high graphics on an old laptop. <laughs> I finally was able with my new PC to run this game and stream it at maximum quality. But with the old one, I had to do medium quality, I think. Otherwise, it like broke my stream. My stream was like, please, I can't. I can't handle it. It's too much. So sorry, Twitch. So sorry. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just gotta finish this area and then this area. I can't even run on minimum specs on your PC. Oh no. I'm sorry. I was gonna say it's paused, right? Okay. I think I'm going to turn off um, line to surface and start placing like this. Give it that more layered feel. Um. <gasps> hey! So happy to be a part of this community. Wish love, wish love. <laughs> Thank you, Nia. I appreciate the resub. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for the for the support here on Twitch. Um, three months. Dang. Hey, Mega. How are you? Welcome in. We are doing our Planet Zoo stream today. Planet Zoo was my main game that I streamed on Twitch before The Sims, by the way. Shell Allure, in case you all didn't know. Um... Thanks for the follow, Scritches for Olivia. Welcome in. What's the animal? We're doing an alligator. American alligator habitat. Um, so right now I'm just placing rocks for decades. Decades and decades and decades. Um, we're almost done. We're getting there. I never played this game, but it looks nice and the rock placements are satisfying. Yeah. I feel like a lot of us like to just watch, so I'm glad. It's intimidating. You were a Zoo Tycoon girly? I was too. It's intimidating, but it fills the void. 
the Zoo Tycoon Void, so I definitely recommend it. I hungered for the zoo for a long time. What's up, Tesquila? How we doing? It's good to see you. All right. So I just got to be layering this a little bit. Doing pretty well. This is mesmerizing. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm glad. Right now I'm just going in and like finishing the layering of the rocks so it feels like it's kind of sinking down into the depths of the pond. Are you sinking yet, chat? Yeah, tonight is peaceful, isn't it? This is what I wanted for today. Just peace. I'm drowning, in fact. <laughs> nice. I mean, not nice, but nice. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure that they can actually get out of this. It's gonna be the main thing. Good today I can't take my eyes off of you placing these rocks is it like it's almost like hypnotizing isn't it just watching it over and over again all right we're just kind of like making it look more finished than just a hole dug out of the ground You're using my rock placing technique on The Sims 4. Let's go. Gaming. Okay. How long has this been of me doing this? I don't even know. I've lost track of time. <laughs> I get to just like turn my brain off and just like click rocks. So it makes me happy. go.
few minutes. Okay. Not too long, right? <laughs> Definitely hasn't been like 30 minutes of me just doing this. Totally. All right. Hey, Michi, what's up? I'm gonna continue this one. Now that we got that side done. Oh, you just want it to be in the green, Tina. As long as it's uh, within the correct uh, range it's it's fine it would turn red if it went outside of the range and then that's when there's a problem um <laughs> take your time i will don't worry i think you all know that i will take my time if if i feel like i need to with these rocks rocks Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, Bridges for Olivia. Do we like this effect? I think it's kind of fun, the, like, effect going up, because then we can put some, like, plants in between this, and it will look really nice. I think it's kind of cool. I want this to end. <laughs> no, that's not a dumb question. You're good. Yeah, we're playing Rock Simulator again. Best game, right? I'm gonna need to make, like, a fence here, I think. Probably. La, 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 la. Uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, Scritches for Olivia. Thank you. Yes, we are. We're playing with rocks today. It's always a good day when rocks are involved. Am I right? Just trying to like make the edges look a little bit cleaner up here. Um. <laughs> That's nice. Um. Uh, I can try to remember Faith. Like, if you tell me in your shell to a redemption that you put family photos in, then I can, like, look for it specifically like that. Does that make sense? So it should be fine. Is it vertically rotatable? Yeah, you can rotate it on any axis. Like, you can uh, rotate it however you want. Is that an invisible fence? Yeah, I have an invisible fence around this habitat right now. Um, as you can see, the alligator is still able to get out from pretty much everywhere. 
Um, but I'm hoping we are almost done securing it in. For example, I'm going to put down this fence, I think. Right up against here. Hopefully that works. Or maybe I'll do this one. I can always finish it up later. I'm going to hit play really quick and see what happens. Okay, actually, yeah, it, it cannot get out anywhere. And it is able to get up to the shore here. Um, it would have to go around this way, but it can get up there. Cool. Uh, what happens if the animals can get out? So this game doesn't let you kill guests with animals, but they'll run away and leave your zoo, which loses you money. Thanks, Faith. Um, can you use money cheats in this game? No, you can play in sandbox mode, though, if you don't want to have to deal with money, but I actually like it. Otherwise, I get a little bit bored if there's no challenge of money in the game. But uh, that's my preference, so. I just get a bit bored, you know? Thanks, Lean. would have been nice to see animals unalive guests yeah kind of a bummer but it is what it is Okay. Is it similar to The Sims? I would not compare this to The Sims. Like, it's a whole different genre. It is a simulation game, but it's more like a management sim. Um, similar to games like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon, Planet Coaster, stuff like that. But yeah, it's not like The Sims at all. Why is the alligator unhappy with the environment? Uh, I don't think he's unhappy with the environment. I think he's just saying he has no enrichment, which would in fact be true. I have not placed any enrichment yet, so... I've only placed rocks so far. <laughs> so it's not a very uh, enriching habitat, one might say. But don't bother him. He's having enrichment time in his enclosure. What enriches them? Uh, we'll have to get him some, like, toys and potentially some, like, food enrichment, which will be, like, things that he can interact with to get food. Um, so it won't, it won't be a big deal. We'll get it sorted. I usually do that last though because I have to place all of the trees still and all of the plants. Oh, you're good, you're good. I find it rude that rocks are not enrichment. I feel very enriched by these rocks. <laughs> the alligator thinks otherwise. Okay, let me just double check again that he can still access everything. Oh my God, he running. Okay, so yeah, he can go down the middle here and swim around everywhere and get up on this little platform over here. It's exciting. Um, there he goes. Uh, we're going to start with the plants now. I'm allowed to do like 50% coverage in here. What am I building? Uh, alligator habitat. Let's choose our big trees. We can do cypress trees. 
redwood. Ooh, mangrove trees are good. We'll do some of those. Oh, look at how pretty these are. These are called foxgloves. Elm tree. London plane tree. Ponytail palm trees. A weeping willow. That could be kind of cool. What if we have this, like, over here? Actually, I wonder if I could use this to hide the staff buildings. If I put it, like, right here. At least a little bit. That's kind of nice. Um... I'll hide it a little bit more later. Um, hey, it's going great. Welcome in. It's going great. Water. Apuelo. Stupello. Oh, these are kind of fun. These are big trees. I think they actually go in the water by the looks of the trunk here. I wonder if I can put them like. This maybe? There's a spot for one right there. Uh, thanks for the follow. Scratch is for Olivia. Welcome in. I I don't think they have babies as fast in this game. There are some animals that are similar where it's like, oh my god, please stop having babies. But I don't think the gators are as bad from my memory. But I will definitely be keeping my eye on them. I don't think I like this one here. Maybe this one's a little better. Um. You need to move the babies out when they age up. Yeah. That is true. Ooh. I do really like this tree. We put it right there, maybe. Offer them some shade over here. Maybe another one right there. And then I think I want to do mangrove trees for the other trees. Because they're like kind of short and scraggly. Which is the vibe I want. Where did they go? Where are you? And I'm sorry. Where the heck did they go? Why can't I find them? Holly trees. H I J K L M. Oh, are these not in alphabetical order? I thought they would be. I literally saw them and I was like, oh, I'm going to use those. Oh, there they are. They're called coastal mangrove trees. That's why I couldn't find them. Ugh. They also take forever to age up. Yeah. <laughs> you say that now. Wait until you have 50 tiny, tiny gator babies running around. Well, what if I only allow them to breed a little bit? And then I give them contraceptives, chat. Hmm? What then? I can do that. Um, obviously, mangrove trees aren't just any mangrove trees. Yeah, <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. I just like how the roots of these look. I think they're fun. we go and then put them down like that um i might even put another one in the water like that that's fun i like that we don't really need too many trees in this habitat because um gators don't really interact with trees so uh this though Shall we put some lily pads down? I think these will go everywhere. 
At least I'm going to keep them kind of out of the normal swim paths of the gators because if they're swimming through them, they would be moving around more. So I'm going to kind of put them in the corners in the little nooks and crannies. Maybe we can have some uh, cat hair. I'm telling you, it's everywhere. We can have some around some of these fence posts here. Maybe some in this area. Yo, Cloudy. Two years. two years. Thank you so much for the two year resub. Oh my God. How can it possibly be two years already in this economy? I can't believe that. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day today. So cozy and relaxing, isn't it? I love this game. Not to be dramatic, but this is my favorite game, so. Let's go in and add some, like, smaller little... Smaller little guys here and there. I feel like this is looking really good. We're doing a good job, chat. We're doing a good job. Just you, me, and the gators. I will try to boot up Planet Zoo. Are you going to do it right now? Yeah, the gators are gay. All of them. Why else would they be called gators? Riddle me that, chat. What's my favorite animal in this game? I have always really liked giraffes. Um, I think they're really fun to play with too, like in games like this. They're just so majestic. You know what I mean? There we go. Okay, sick. I think that's uh, about it for the lily pads. Now I want to go in and add um, the underwater plants. Why is this happening? Oh, I have it aligning to the surface of water. There we go. Um. Yeah, so I'd have to say giraffes are some of my favorite. What about y'all? What are your favorite animals in this game if you play it? This is looking sick. The seals I cackle every time they move because they bounce. Oh, the seals are cuties. Penguins, wildcats, red panda, elephants. Oh, the elephants are fun in this game. Warthogs. Herbivores like giraffes, zebras, and okapi. Otters. I have otters in my zoo. They're next door to these alligators. They're really cute. I haven't played with all the animals, but I like brown bears. 
Oh, you made like a glass den. That's fun. I love that. Hey, Emma. Wolves are sun bears. Fun. Doesn't this look so cool with all the plants in it now? We did a good job. Now I'm going to go through and add like smaller plants to fill in the smaller gaps. Very cool. It's super murky down here. Perfect place for alligators to hang out. You're exceeding your coverage? Uh-oh. Maybe I don't care. I think maybe I don't care with the alligators. They can be upset about their coverage. Is that mean? I'm already in too deep. They should get a better network. <laughs> Talking about plant covered soggy. I'm dead. They're pixels. It's fine. Oh, true. They're not even real. What do they think they are trying to tell me they have enough plant coverage? They're not even real. You're not my real dad. Dang it. I wanted to put some there. we go gators will eat you if they want to so it's not mean true they would 10 out of 10 and chomp me if they could so they deserve this uh thanks for the follow scratches for olivia welcome in yeah tristan honestly i don't care if you're complaining tristan First of all, your name is Tristan. Second of all, <laughs> I feel like that's so mean. Um, hmm. Oh, we have hydrangeas. This could be kind of fun for a pop of color later on, but I think I'm going to do some of these hawthorn bushes to kind of like line these rocks up here. Hi, Karita. What's up? Classic Tristan, am I right? Right, exactly. Always complaining. Yeah, I think the hydrangeas could be a really pretty, like, feature color. This reminds me of, like, beach grass. Kind of just align in this area up here. Can I turn off their need for coverage in a franchise zoo, zoo or would it not let me customize that? I don't think I've ever tried. Because I feel like I always do too much plants. <laughs> uh, we're, we're building for alligators, Karita. Alligators. We're basically building Florida right now. Um... Think you can only do that in sandbox okay well they can suffer suffer then see if i care <laughs> no i feel that faith normally normally i care but i'm like 86 percent over the coverage so i feel like it's too late for me you know what i mean like there's no way i'm gonna be able to get it down to a rate that I'm happy with that the alligators would also be happy with so I'm simply giving up looks like home oh am I doing a good job any any Floridians in the chat does this look like your backyard I'm looking for helpful hints pointers perhaps does this look like your backyard you can be honest. You can say no. <laughs> I 
You know, Florida doesn't look this good. Oh, am I doing too good? Hi, little Dika. We're building Florida right now. Welcome in. Dutchman's breeches. Oh, these are fun flowers. Thank you for the bits, by the way. I appreciate it. Common saltwort. I'll put a couple of these around. Saltwort sounds fun. Oh no, why would you do that? <laughs> hey hey, woo -hoo. We're going to Florida, everyone! Okay, common fox gloves. I actually like how these fox gloves look like. I think they're really pretty. I'm, I'm just going to plant a couple of them along this, like, rock wall. So I think they're really, really cute, and I like them. Isn't that pretty? To remove some of the grass underwater... It's also probably a problem for the LJ IRL. It'll take away the auction. I've already given up, Bestie. It's fine. I don't care. They'll be okay. Buffalo grass. Ooh, I like how this looks. That's nice. Provoking my sub immediately? Wait, for what? What did I do this time? So pretty. It looks really good. Thank you. Oh, for making you go to Florida. Oh. Yeah, I understand, actually. Feel free to unsubscribe. <laughs> Goblin field trip. Seatbelts, everyone. I probably would make a great Miss Frizzle. But the Frizz? No way! Cruising on down Main Street. You're relaxing, feeling good. Do, do, do. Lauren, hey! Hi, I love you too! How was your stream? Can we get a shout out for Lauren in the chat? Bessie's go follow my friend. Incredibly talented Let's Player here on Twitch and YouTube. I'm playing Plant Zoo today, Lauren. Welcome in. Can we do watch parties of the Magic School Bus? <laughs> I don't know if they offer that on Prime. Prime video. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of the purple flowers over here too. Or these pink ones. My zoo looks so good. Thank you. We're building um an alligator habitat right now. So, um, you know, just be careful. Don't fall in. I haven't seen Magic School Bus in like 20 years. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Magic School Bus. It's been a while. It's been a while. Bracken. <gasps> oh, okay, no, that's not the vibes. That's too moist. I think this might be good. Um, foliage wise, I think I'm happy. Are you happy, chat? I want those flowers IRL. Yeah, they're called foxgloves. I bet you could find them. All right, I'm bringing this around a little bit to kind of like integrate this area um, into the exhibit next door to it. See what I mean? 
We're kind of like doing a wrap around. A wrap around. Um, just making it feel like it's all a part of the same zoo. I also need to hide this area a little bit more, so I'm going to use this to hide it. Um, probably some of these too. Just because. That does not want to fit there. Um. Good at building in Sims and Planet Zoo, huh? Okay, don't be that nice to me. What the heck? I will go right. Make a worker village for each exhibit. Not each exhibit, but um, whenever I need to make a new one, I do. Uh, and I needed a new one because the last one was over here for the tortoises and the otters. So I figured I would probably make a new one over here. I feel like the buildings are kind of out of sight, out of mind. But I think I'll make another weeping willow tree there just because. Are foxgloves toxic? Well, let's hope the alligators don't decide to become herbivores. You know what I mean? <laughs> What other bushes could I use in here? Peach tree. They have azaleas. Um. I don't know if I have something that can fill in this space back here. So I might just do rocks. I'm not sure if they're toxic for reptiles, but they are for us. Darn it. There goes my lunch plans for tomorrow. Dang it. <laughs> That's good to know, though. Good to know. I'm going to do some of these uh, beautiful hydrangeas because... I feel like a little color will look really nice. Go a long way. OMG, cover, cover Tristan's ear holes. Yeah, don't let Tristan hear you say that. Tristan is our crocodile's name, by the way, uh, if you missed it. He's uh, he's quite the lad. Definitely only wears Adidas. That's his brand, so... I know. I hate that. I hate that, Tina. He's our short king. Yeah, Tristan, he's kind of small. He's really insecure about it. Um, so don't mention that when you see him, okay? Um, this one is, I think, a rhubarb. Rhubarb plants. He can't see. <laughs> uh... Good night, Luis. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of these kind of like on the outer edges as well. I might do another one of these back here. Just so that it's continued over a little bit. La 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 la. La la la. And then maybe one over here. There we go. I do have all the extra packs. Yeah, I used to buy them, but I'm actually um, a part of their creator program, Frontiers creator program. So I get them for free now. Thank goodness, because <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not as much money as a Sims pack. Let's be honest. They're actually a pretty good deal. It's only $10. And you get a bunch of items in it, so. I know, I'm fancy. Thank you. Very grateful to be a part of their program. Okay. 
<laughs> not that, Annie, not that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cannoli! Nixie with the goblin redemption chat, you know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly... Wait, no, that's my sub thing. Uh, one of my mods will be with you shortly, so make sure you have your Discord DMs open. I'm basically a robot. I just repeat the same phrase over and over again. I want this rotate. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Nixie. Hello. You would visit my zoo, Christine? Thank you. It's going good. We're doing a Florida habitat right now. For some alligators. Um, so, you know. It's going. Is there a Lil Simsy alligator? I haven't named one Lil Simsy, if that's what you're asking. We, currently, we have an alligator named Tristan. Okay. All right, we should probably start thinking about placing the actual food and stuff for the alligators. Oh my god, they have a lot of enrichment. Oh, they have floater platforms. Wait, that's fun. I'm going to put a couple of those in. Check this out. They actually like these? There you go. Do you have a petting zoo? We don't have a petting zoo, but we have a walkthrough. Um prairie dog habitat oh my god i can't do this okay this is gonna be an underwater fish feeder on that side and on this side fun rubbing bark pad okay yeah sounds fun uh, should I put Duck Dan in there? Probably, huh? It's what the people want. Did you see the Goblin Redemption? I did, yeah. My mods handle it, so... One of my mods will get there as soon as possible. Please let us see the alligator rub against the bark pad. I'm hoping so, too. Should I do the mud pet pit up here, actually? I feel like maybe that's a better spot for the mud pit. Ooh. Yeah. And then we can put the bark pad somewhere else. Oh, you're good, silicons. You're good. All fine. Maybe I'll put the bark pad, like, right there. Bark. Bark, bark. <gasps> Burger Queen, thank you for the six month resub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back. Join us, thrive. I'll put a little water jet right there. I might put another one over here. Um, anything else that we should put in here? I think that's probably good enough for now. Restraint feeder. Oh. Oh, this, this is going to be epic, actually. To watch the alligators eat out of that. Feels good to be back. It's good to see you. I hope you've been well. Okay. Uh, I want to put like a fence here for the guests, but I think I'm going to stop building for a tiny bit so we can watch the alligators. Sound like a plan? Let's send in the other gators. All right. 
we go. Let's watch our boy Tristan. He's going in. Oh, it's so beautiful. You like it, Olivia? She's coming over to my lap. I'm working a lot lately. No, that's fair. Hope you've been getting some relaxing time too, though. You just sit. Our short king just be sitting. Oh my god, here come the girls. Ooh. You just saw my tweet with small Olivia. Wow, look at them go. Tristan's like, hey, ladies, what's up? I'm concerned about your instincts when you see a gator. What, you don't run at the alligators when you see them? They just sit in. Okay, I'm sorry I made fun of your size, Tristan. You're actually bigger than the girls. By a lot. Um. <gasps> Look at the little tummy. Oh my god. Incredible. Do you think Tristan's going after Duck Dan? Should we look? Where are you going, buddy? You're going to get him? Get the duck. Get the duck. Come on. You know you want to. You thinking about it. You're not really going to do it, though. Dang it. You see it's snack pouch. Attack! Boo. Are you going to go up on the floating platform? No. just sitting right next to it wait maybe he's going on it i feel like this is a really good habitat like we slayed this one let's hope they don't get too mad about the foliage Shh. what they don't know won't hurt them i have some flying lily pads i do don't i is it just those ones that are flying? Interesting. Interesting behavior. I think it was just those ones. Okay, they're just kind of sitting. It looks so pretty though. Like, check this out. Check the view out. It looks awesome. This game is so relaxing, isn't it? Would you walk over this habitat? I feel like it feels like it's tall enough that it's safe. Like, you would. This is like POV. You're walking and looking at the alligators. Like, that is definitely tall enough. There's no way they could get up and get you. I'd love to go there IRL. <laughs> wow. And you walk by and you see them go over there. This is like the perfect view of watching them in the mud. They can attack me. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, uh oh, I'm in the wrong camera. There we go. Gorgeous. I love the game, but lately I feel too overwhelmed to play it. Aw, oh, yeah, I get it. That happens to me sometimes, too. I think one of the babies grew up. Yeah, you need to go. Okay. We already have our alpha here. Gorge! Yeah, we have rhinos. Aren't they so cool? They're so big. Uh, we, we have two babies, too. Check them out. Run, 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 run. 
Yeah, I feel that all the time. I always want to be better at decorating. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. I know, look at their little ears. Who died? Oh no, one of our giant pandas is about to die? Uh-oh. That's not good at all. Oh, oh no. Oh, that sucks. Um, I might need to buy another giant panda. I think there's only three of them in there. Yeah, and one of them's elderly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can get a couple more. A giant panda. I know, it's so sad. There are none? There's none for, for like, the money. Hmm. Remind me to look back at it later, chat. Because we need to get some more. There's only three in there right now, and one of them's elderly. And one of them is literally the child. So I don't want them to have to mate. We must have had some issues with fertility. Can they breed? Well, I don't want the mother and son to breed. Not ideal. Where's the third alligator? One, two... Is it underwater, maybe? Oh! <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, the, the prairie dogs inbreed all the time. It's fine. Why don't I want to use my points? I don't know. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't have a reason. I'll just wait until some cheaper ones get in there. Swim, swim! Yeah, this is definitely deep enough. Wow. How exciting! Uh, I should probably get the zookeeper to come. And get food and stuff. We have a good reputation. That's good. Are we going up over here? I can't get over how real it looks. Thank you. Hey, Moonchild. How are you? Yeah, it's, it's very accurate. It just sucks. Get that lens flare with the alligator. Can you get out of the rock, buddy? The graphics are incredible. I know. Is that other one still over here? Oh, yeah. She's just hanging out. This is so that you guys don't have to go this close to an alligator IRL, okay? You can have a zoo alligator. You can do that, Christine. Um... In franchise mode, you can trade animals from your zoos, which is what I did for the rhinos. I took one of my alpha rhinos from a different zoo and brought him here because we needed one uh, to continue the herd. So. I would love to walk with VR in my zoo, right? I held a baby alligator once. It was really small, though. Oh, hi, Gemma. <laughs> Welcome. Would you come to my zoo? Yeah, it's an online marketplace. <gasps> oh my god, she's up on the land. I think she dropped her first dookie. She's so proud. I'm proud of you too. Oh, and she laid down in her turds. Do you ever just lay down in your turds? At sunset? Relatable. Whoa. The way he stood up. Go, Tristan. Go, Tristan. Go. 
Oh, Tristan's going over to the Dookies. Where are you going, buddy? My zoo is cute. Thank you. That's how I like to spend my evenings. It's scary how tall they are. When they get out of the water. Need to do more work on yours. At least she can just jump in the water to rinse off the turds. Yeah, true. Are you pooping too? Or are you just lounging? I'm talking to you, Tristan. Tristan! And I do it for you! <laughs> yeah, I like the zoo facts. It's fun. I want to do it for you! <laughs> Is there a way for keepers to clean that side of the habitat? Um, I don't know, because the poop's gone. So doesn't that mean that it's cleaned? I love that sound. Yeah, it's always in my head. She's just chilling. I just burst out laughing. <laughs> Look at him go. They can just swim. Yeah, wouldn't you like to swim with the alligators if you were the zookeeper? In fact, what if, um... Hmm. They look hungry. You can give them food, right? I think so. Oh yeah, I should probably connect them to the rest of the zoo at some point. We'll have it connect around here. Maybe she rolled it into the water. You think she dookie rolled it? Oh, what was your what was your name previously, Sunkiss? Oh, they're <gasps> woohooing! They're woohooing in front of us! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Avert your eyes. This is what it looks like. Wow. Okay, did it work? Are we pregnant? I don't know if we're actually pregnant. I don't think we got pregnant chat. We're not pregnant. The way they both run into the water. Oh, you were Jazzy Jesse. Okay, gotcha. I like your new name. Hi, Rafty. Thank you. I'm doing great. I'm doing just fine. You know, I'm kind of glad that they didn't try to make the humans look realistic because um, I feel like it would be really uncanny valley. You know what I mean? Like, they would look horrifying. And the humans aren't really the point of the game, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this decision they made. They would look really scary. I like that they're cute little humans. They're kind of just entities, you know? I'm glad that they made the animal graphics super high res, though. There we go. Got some trash cans and some benches, so there's no excuse to litter into the gator habitat. Oh, there's food. Are you going to eat the food? Oh, chat, she's eating. Oh, my God. She's going like vertical. Litterers get fed to the gators. Tristan, are you going to get some food? Yeah, I'm going to put the education boards, too. Definitely. That's fun. Aww. Do, 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 do. There's definitely too many feeders in there for them. And donation boxes. Yes. We need donation boxes for sure. 
All right, let's do one like right here. Oh, the rhinos are mating. Let's go. The one right there. I can't believe I missed three hours of playing a zoo day. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Where were you? Okay, probably one like right here is a good spot. For the alligators. And then maybe one right there. And probably one right here at all the beginnings of the entrance. American alligator. I don't think that this one has power, though. Of course, the power just barely doesn't reach. Blatantly homophobic. My zoo is pretty. Thanks. I appreciate it. I can put a facility down. Ooh, saving up for Hobgoblin. Good luck. Good luck. Guests don't mind this very much. There we go. Uh, no, I gave the raccoons birth control. They're good. They've really chilled out. Yay! Okay, people are coming over here now. The prairie dogs, however. Holy cannoli. I should have known they would breed like rats. Holy cow! It just looks like a bunch of walking turds. How are any of you happy? They look like ants. They're everywhere. Oh my god. Like, look at how small these guys are. Careful, don't step on them. Oh my god, not this. Oh my god. That's crazy. How about the emus? How are we doing? Okay, one of our giant pandas is about to mature. So that's good. I don't want it. <laughs> Made you laugh? Good. Um, let me see if there's a giant panda on the market. Yeah, that was a baby emu. Why are there no giant pandas? Like... I guess I could get these ones, but I don't want to. Her fertility is only 50%. And I don't think I have giant pandas in my other zoos. So I can't just trade with myself. That's a hard life out here. The emus are my favorite. <laughs> you want to look at the baby again? There he is! Just a little guy. Look at how cute they are! Oh my god, whoa, chill. They like to run a lot. The pandas need to increase their population, but they're so lazy. <laughs> Her fiance had emus growing up. Aww. She's like, mother? Is that you, mother? I love how they sound like dinosaurs. 
You have giraffes? No, we don't have giraffes. Not yet, at least. Whoa, I just realized this. Let me fix that really quick. Oh, the zookeeper is feeding. That's cute. Oh, he ate it all. You didn't save any for the baby? Oh, here comes the other one. <laughs> Your cat heard the emu squeaking. Okay, we're about to fill this one up, too. Ubadesa. Um. Yeah, they're they're really lazy. Here we go. Let's watch you use the forging pit. Ooh, that's fun. They remind you of Kevin from Disney's Up. Yeah, they do. They looking for bugs. Did the baby get food? I hope so. I'm assuming it did. There's way too many of these. Are you guys fighting? The girlies are fighting. Oh my god! Careful! Whoa! I probably need to get rid of some of these, don't I? What if I get rid of all the adults and only have babies in there? That'd probably work. How, how old are the babies, though? When do they age up? Hairy dog. What are they called? American Prairie Dog? What the heck is your name? Black-tailed Prairie Dog. Okay. Um... They age up... At two years? Okay, so if they're younger than two years old, they, they get to stay. Um... Bye, Bevy. Thanks for hanging out. You can say, you can say, you're old. 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 This is just how we're doing it. I'm getting rid of their alpha. This one has gold genetics, though. And they're pregnant, so I don't think I can get rid of them right now. Okay. Release to the wild. We have one adult. There is one adult prairie dog in there. And don't worry. They'll all grow up eventually. Wait, <gasps> there's only one boy? The rest are girls? Um, well, we'll be fine. Babies don't count for the population requirement. That's okay. It won't be too long until they're grown. Yeah, I know. I, I don't care about the Nyala's inbreeding. It's out of my control at this point. I'm not too worried about it. Um, holy cow, that's a big steaming poo right there. Massive. Automatic alpha. Yeah, that guy's going to be the auto alpha. I think the raccoons are out of control again, too, somehow. Even though I only allowed one of them to breed. Um, now, a couple of them. Okay, you three are old enough to release to the wild. First of all. Um, where are the raccoons? OK. 
Okay. I released... Well, no, actually... I'm gonna make it so that you can't breed and you can't breed. Only the gold ones can breed. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, I try not to have them eat and breed for the most part, but yeah, at some point, it's just like out of your control. And you're like, well... Well... Too much. I have way too many tortoises. Is T is Tettles still here? Yeah, we still have Tittles the tortoise. He is 76 years old now. I can't believe that. Tittles is like immortal. He will never die. Where are the Nyalas? Here they are. Okay. All right. Why? Why does it keep scrolling me up to the top? Please stop. I need to get rid of all of the Nyalas that are not the Alpha, essentially. Um. Oh, one of them's dead. Okay. There's that. Um. Okay. I'm getting rid of all the boys, except for the one. Otherwise, they'll fight. There are, yeah. You can you can go to the workshop and uh, get people's like pre-built templates and stuff. If that's what you're looking for. Um. What the heck? Why does it keep scrolling to the top like that? Please stop. I'm... It's doing it again. Okay. Um, alright. So we have this guy here. I'm gonna get rid of you because you're old. You because you're old. You because you're old. And you. Oh, well, you're dead. Anyways. Definitely old. Okay, we should be good. I can filter it. Yeah, it's fine. We got it figured out. Okay. Well. <laughs> we definitely didn't get to make our African safari today, which is something I wanted to do. But I think we have plans for that to make like a drive through like African safari exhibit in the future. But we did make an alligator habitat today. That's pretty freaking cool. Like this took me a long time to make um, because of how how detailed it is and how many rocks are in here. Also, I think it's about to rain in the zoo. So I hope these guests brought umbrellas. Otherwise, they're going to be really sad in a moment. Um, yep, here comes the rain. Look at how pretty this is, though. Absolutely gorgeous. The alligators are probably loving the rain. Um, it's so freaking pretty. But yeah, I'm happy. Look at how big our zoo is now. I know it's, like, kind of hard to see, but, like, it's really expanding, and I think it's looking really, really cool. And I'm really, really happy about it. Um, Uh-oh, I think the only adult in here is about to die of old age. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, no. They're already growing up. That's good. It's looking like a top-tier zoo. Thank you! Yeah, I think it's going pretty well. We definitely need to think about doing another, like, food area over here and over here. Which I think, for me, making, like, guest areas are kind of boring. So, I prefer to do, like, habitats and stuff. So, that's why I didn't want to do it today. Um, it's going really well so far. Uh, can we make Zoo Tuesday a weekly thing? I don't want to promise it, but I think I will try to aim for doing Planet Zoo on Tuesdays. Um, but I definitely don't want to promise it. Zoo's day. 
Guest areas can be boring, but I think you'd make it fun. Yeah, they're just not as serotonin for me to make, personally. So, yeah. I'm proud of us. Look at what we did today. It's relaxing to watch. Thanks. I'm trying to see what our biggest habitat is so far, and I think it's probably the panda habitat. I think, like, square footage-wise, this is our biggest habitat. Which, by the way... Dang it, I was about to go check the franchise server to see... Let me see if I can log back in, because I'm looking for more giant pandas to buy. Thanks, Jess. Enjoy lurking while you zoo. Yeah, I appreciate y'all being here. I do, I do. I'm getting a little uh, overstimulated right now because my cat's on my lap and I'm really hot. And uh, my hand is hurting and I'm starting to cramp. So I might have to get out here in a second. But I'm going to check to see if there's uh, giant pandas. So... Very overstimulated. Olivia, thanks. <laughs> I'm here for Zoo's Day. Yeah, we can try our best. You would visit my zoo? Thanks, Emily. I'm starting to wonder if this is broken. What? What? Why is it not going back to the main menu? <laughs> the game doesn't want me to get pandas. Thanks, Gemma. See ya, Cloudy. Okay, there we go. Connect me. Okay, let's go in. New rewards. Cool. Alright. I have an itch. It feels like I have a cat fur in my eyeball. But like, how will I know where it is? No oh, pandas for me. I was cooking while listening to stream and I accidentally put my finger in hot oil. Oh no. Hey, don't, uh, I hope that, that you're feeling okay after that. That sucks. Okay, there are no... Fine, I'll adopt this one and I'll adopt this one because they're good genetics that's so annoying they don't have any like frontier ones all right i'm sending them in these two are going to help us keep our panda population thriving hopefully come on in hi little buddies welcome There we go. Perfect. I don't know why they're called one. I'm gonna get rid of the one in their names. There we go. Well, there. I spent my points on it, so. May is about to inbreed. Are you really woohooing your son, May? Oh my god, not this. I hope you don't get pregnant. Okay, I don't think she got pregnant. Thank goodness. Wait, how is that your son and your sibling? Wait, why is Jing infertile? Huh? Is it because she's too old? Oh yeah, she's too old. Well, somehow that is her son and her sibling. So that's weird. I don't I don't like that. But I guess that's what inbreeding does. <laughs> Anyways, uh we have new blood in the hand exhibit exhibit now, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um Oh, no, no. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I think this is going to probably be where we call it. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get a little crampy. I don't mean to just run on you guys. 
Um, but hopefully you enjoyed today's stream. Um, I appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me for a little bit today. Um, I feel like we did a really good job. We built the, the alligator enclosure and it looks really dope. Um, and I'm really happy with it. So, um, does that mean they're also cousins? Yeah, I don't even know. That's so confusing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. We can, we can go raid someone. I think it's actually Emrys's birthday today. Are they still, um, live? Is Emrys still live? They are. Okay, I'm gonna go raid my friend Emrys. It's it's his birthday today. Let's go say hi to Emrys. Can we can we make a happy birthday raid message? Like happy birthday, humble borpna. Thank you, Christine. Um yeah, I appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you for hanging out. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button. Um hopefully I feel better tomorrow. I honestly I felt fine today. I just hope that I don't feel bad tomorrow so we can still play. The Sims. We have The Sims planned for tomorrow. Um, feel free to follow me on my socials, join our Discord server, all that fun stuff. Um, but let me let me type a happy birthday message for you guys. Humble Orpna Bazoo. That's Simlish for happy birthday to you. Um, so feel free to copy that. We can go raid them. They're going to be like, what is this raid message? Um, okay, let's go say hi to Emrys. And uh, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro. But thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.